Hello everybody, welcome to Leeds Wine TV. I am your host Mark Fusco and uh, thank you for coming in for another review. Uh, in honor of the Tour de France, I uh, decided to try to do a couple wines from the areas that they are going through. Unfortunately I missed, didn't come up with the idea in time to really go through Provence and languedoc Rousson, and uh, I already did a Catalonian wine so didn't really do one for that today. But they're going to go through an area known as Southwest France, or let me make sure I get it right, Sudwest, or Sudwest, Sudwest, maybe that Sudwest. Anyway, um, an area that d doesn't really get much attention. So uh, what we're doing today is the Colombel, uh, Colombel, and it's uh, 2007. Okay, but uh, the area is from, or the the um, uh, appellation is Vindepays. De Côtes de Gasson. Now, uh, this area is uh, uh, near, put on the map, they said it's near, kind of near Toulouse. Um, it's in an area, uh, or the, the um, oh, what do I want to say? It's, uh, it's in the Gassoni area, but it's it's a, it's in the area that you, if, if they had it, it was a better wine, would be under the Côtes de Saint-Mont. Côtes de Saint-Mont. Saint-Mont. If you're trying to figure out what I'm saying. Um, so, uh, anyway, it's a red. And what's significant about this is that in this part of southwest France, um, they don't make many red wines. They mostly make whites. All right, so what's the makeup of this? Uh, it's 60% Tanat, 20% Merlot, and 20% Cabernet Sauvignon got it at World Market for seven ninety nine. <clears throat> for the record, Tanat is this is the first time I've had a Tanat, so uh, I'm really excited about this. I get some fruits, some darker fruits. Getting a little bit of alcohol. Um, it's only twelve percent, so it means it's not major. It's kind of cloudy out today. That's what I thought I smelled. I smelled, swear to God, buttered popcorn. Don't know. Like I was at the movie theater. Not heavily buttered, but more of a popcorn. But like that buttery sensation. And I might be just, <laughs> can be completely off by it, but that's what it makes me think of. So let's check it out. Wow, it's um, it's interesting in a good way. I get a little bit of that <clears throat> fruity. I don't know that, that whole buttery popcorn thing, which it, I only expect from Chardonnay. So. Alright, so there's not an overabundance of the buttery popcorn in, in, in the palate, but there's definitely some really good fruit. It's it's kind of sweet. Um, not overly sweet. Um, everything I heard about with Tanat is that it's really, really dry and your your mouth just gets all puckered up. And you know what? They really softened the tannins on this thing because I, I get really nothing now i do get some creaminess that that you know like i guess the buttery popcorn but it's not the buttery but it gets some creaminess so i'm guessing they 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 really put this in a lot of oak um it doesn't really say what uh what it has in there but um 
you know, I'm getting the fruits. They're darker fruits, and um, I'm getting kind of that, I'm kind of, kind of that that buttery, creamy thing. So I'm, there, there may be the oak is coming through on that. pretty good um i guess i'd rate it probably an 86 for me um this particular vintage got an 88 from wine and spirits and um the in the research i did it, it, i guess it's um the producer is actually caves playmont um but the name is colin bell it's like kind of a brand um there are areas in france that they do branding rather than like um put the name of the producer on there you know what i mean um in on the back of it uh they're they're in the uh plamont plamont saint Saint-Mont area so and i guess this is the area you know, more specific where they're at so it, it's southwest this where they're where this is is not exactly where they're going to end up on the tour de france but it's close enough they're about 40 miles north east north northeast of um the end point for the tour de france on sunday and uh they do mostly whites the the breakdown from what i was able to find out about 91 percent of the wines in in this particular area for southwest france they do white eight percent red and one percent rosé um though a lot of the other parts of southwest france uh do uh mostly reds and this extends even up to kind of near the Bordeaux area. Um, if, when we did the right bank uh, episode, uh, some of those very, very far east areas are, are sometimes counted as part of southwest France or they're on the border of that. So it goes from kind of right by Bordeaux all the way down to the Pyrenees area. And, um, you know, they just produce a lot of wine. This is a Vin de Pays. So this is, you know, they call country wine. Uh, it's one level up from a table wine. And, uh, you know, I like it. I think it's pretty good. Uh, they had a white that I might uh, might check out uh, in the future. And because uh, I believe it uses Colombard and uh, Uni Blanc and two other varietals I would love to try out. And, um, yeah, I totally, totally recommend it. I know I only give it an 86, but, um, you know, it, it's, it's good. It's serviceable. We're out of time. Going to the pity party tonight. Probably bring this and the uh, pen folds from yesterday. Friend me up, Twitter, Facebook, email me, comments. See everybody again next week.